Practice set eight. For each situation, determine if it represents an inverse or a direct relationship and solve the problem. Number six, six identical CNC machines can produce 768 pistons in a day. If another CNC machine is added, how many pistons per day can be produced? Well, they're talking here about increasing the number of machines and the result then is what kind of production do we have and common sense would tell you if we have more machines we're going to have a greater production because both of these quantities are going in the same direction they're both increasing this is an example of a direct relationship to solve this then if I take the original information we have six machines that produced 768 pistons and compare it to the new situation which is adding another CNC machine which increases our six to seven machines over the unknown number of pistons that will result in. With our proportion, proportion we're going to solve for the missing variable by using our cross multiplication technique multiplying the diagonal with the two numbers in it 7 times 768 gives us 5376 we'll take the 5376 result and divide it by the 6 that's part of the other diagonal direction giving us 896 pistons, which is the value of our variable that we were looking for. In problem number seven, three carpenters built a fence in 14 hours. If another carpenter would have helped, how long would it have taken to build the fence? Here we're talking about the number of carpenters, which is increasing. To do this task then, when we're comparing the time, experience should tell us that more people on the job are going to cut the amount of time. When one quantity is increasing as the other decreases, this is an example of an inverse relationship. To solve this, I'm going to take the original number of carpenters compared to the new number of carpenters. Another carpenter is joining the group, which would bump it up to four, is equal to the new time which is our unknown, compared to the original 14 hours when the three carpenters were working. Using cross multiplication technique, multiply the diagonal that has the two numbers in it. We're going to take 3 times 14, which gives us 42. That result will be divided by 4 in the other diagonal, which gives us a 10.5 which is the value of x. So it appears it will be 10.5 hours. We expected less time, and we got less time.